<laughs> All right, guys. So the structure. Today's uh, main goal is how to find the companies quickly. Yeah. Okay, that's the idea. Quickly. And that, yeah, quickly. So that everyone is uh, able to find the companies on their own and put it in watch list. Not like to have a comp two companies for several years, especially when they run away. Okay, just to manage it. In this case, it would be much easier. Okay, to analyze. It's first of all. Secondly, when you are doing it, uh, you kind of repeating what you kind of keep thinking what kind of companies you are looking for, because the screen process you have to put fundamental data. Okay, so the simplest way, like there are different sources, and I will show you different sources. Uh, but we'll start probably from value line because that would be the most accessible tool for us. Okay, so everyone's good. Okay. Uh, I I will ask you if you know where to go. Yeah. Where should you go? Find ideas. Find ideas. Okay. So we're looking for ideas, so we go find ideas. Right. So basically, you go to find ideas. Okay. Here, screener. Okay. Basically, you can realize the screener. Okay, so we got find ideas, we call screener. When you get to the screener, you have nothing here, like uh, it's blank. But on a lot of, on the left side, you have a lot of criteria. Mm -hmm. I presume you all know which criteria to use, right? So which, which one? What what important for us in the company? Profit increase. Profit increase, right? So let's see. Okay, so here, uh, earnings per share growth. Mm -hmm. Okay, so five years or one year. Uh, the past five, years. five years. Okay, so we put earnings per share five years. Five years. So growth, we are looking at growth. Okay, so, mm -hmm. uh, first, what we are going to do, we are going to choose certain criteria, and then we are going to put parameters. Okay, so that's the way. So at the moment, as you can see, we have two thousand companies. Okay, then we we'll look at sales growth. Also, too good to know. Okay, so we click sales growth. Oh, P ratio we need, no? Okay, P ratio, yes, trailing P ratio is important, right? Why is it tra no, why not? trailing? Because it's actual, it's whatever company was making. Current is, uh, you don't know like it's going to be true or not, but trailing is whatever actual earning was. Trailing. 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 So it's the last 12 months. Yeah. Um, okay, then uh, it's good to have dividends in any way. Okay. Even if it's zero sometimes. If it is like small dividend, Still good, kind of. Okay. Uh, exists if we bought and the, the company went down, at least we are getting something. Okay, maybe one percent a year, but still getting. Right. So dividends. Uh, so this is kind of. Um, are we still using the timeliness thing or no? Uh, we can use timeliness, but it's not as important for specific company. Okay, because even in bad industry, there would be good companies to buy. <laughs> if you want, you can add it. So if you have too much many companies in the watch list, still a lot. Yeah. So still a lot. You start adding more parameters. But uh, we're going to get not that much companies. But, now does, but doesn't that mean that the if you say for example, if you just do all the search, you would get the same thing. Practically the same. But uh, you will have to analyze certain companies. That's the thing. So guys, I've done the screening. I found those companies. Who will analyze what? And that's it. And after that, another person will analyze. Or oh, look at these companies. That's what I think. We can split, for example, somebody does first week, second week, and third week. So that we do the screening process. So we know that we're all weeks of power. Okay. So for example, that's the way we decide. OK, so what else is important for us? OK, let's go. Uh, industry, you can have industry in stage market cap. So the size of the company, stock price. So we can have like companies between certain price or below one hundred dollars. Okay, yeah. so, uh, then uh, beat the employer. But we have you don't need book value for this. Uh, book value in reality you can have book value, but in reality, how will we estimate, for example, Google uh, versus Ford Motors? They have very difficult book value. Oh, we need like a uh, debt. Debt, yes, correct. Debt, mm -hmm. that would be important thing for answer. Yes. Uh, Launch your debt to capital, this one. Of course, we can put timeliness, industry rank, and etc. Okay, so for example, one to two. All right, okay, so uh, when we put earnings per share growth from, so we need from two. Mm -hmm. hmm. Correct, so from what number? So what's the minimum growth we need? What would you prefer, like company at least to grow how much in earnings? Two. 
Is that the minus? Okay, let's have five at least, okay? So five. It was minus it was because it was all parameters. We need from five Obviously and upwards. Everything needs to be positive. <laughs> yeah, whatever positive we, we interested, mm -hmm. right? So same sales, okay? So for right. example, five. Then if we find too many companies, yeah. we go higher. If we find no companies, we can go lower. Okay, so whatever. So trailing PE ratio, what's the PE ratio range we are looking for? Yes. Yeah. Five to fifteen. Okay, five to, five to fifteen. Okay, so for example. So from five to forever, right? Is it like five, to from the top is five, from five yeah, to, so. to whatever the default is? Yeah, because if the company grows one thousand percent every year, that's good for us, right? So, so five, at least five. Why the five turn into five? Uh, Zero, the, the, what I found, uh, it's actually a good question. Uh, I found that the company, if they will have very low P, it's something definitely wrong with the company. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. it's some down. kind of, yeah, some shitty stuff happening mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's why I put five at least. So better than five years later. Yeah, so it's just, you can put zero, mm -hmm. you put zero, uh, but then you will have to deal with all these strange companies, you will spend time to analyze them. How so, about two or three? Hmm? Two or three. Two or three what? The number instead of five. Yeah, it's just okay. from my yeah. So mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. four is too low. Mm -hmm. like, five it's is like, a magic number. It's, it's like price for bankruptcy. You can actually five is very low because yeah. there are a few companies now with five P now from our portfolio which is good. Yeah. Okay, dividend yield. So I usually put one zero one whatever. So and uh, okay. Some yeah, kind of yeah, and then uh, long term debt from so it's zero point one. You just do the from. You don't care about the two yet. Two thirteen. What's the two on the dividend yield? One sixty. Zero. No, the the earning per price earning is to put fifteen max. You don't want to. Yeah, but for the year, for the dividend yield, it's one point one to what? Nothing. One hundred fifty or. So what happened in our case, right? So we started. Is that it? From oh. six thousand companies. Can you scroll okay. down a little bit more, Igor? So uh, the dividend yield, yeah. So uh, then, you, uh, by putting this, earnings per share only one thousand two hundred companies have an earnings per share growth more than five percent. Okay. Then oh, if okay. if compared with sales, it would be seven hundred companies. So it's nearly half of it. Okay. Then after we put trading ratio in this range, 300 companies left. Then we put the dividend yield, 230 companies left. So we we screened out uh, about 76 companies here, just for <coughs> dividends. Uh, we know that because some companies, they don't pay dividends, but they're still good. <coughs> so if you want, you can <coughs> delete that part completely and, and keep it, okay? So, okay, so 230 companies, it's too many. Okay. Yeah. Another parameter which is good, it's only per share growth at least. Okay, three to five years. Uh, so projection, because it's good to know that management kind of believe that they can grow. Okay, and value line grow. Our projection as well. So it's again at so least. Now we're adding projection to it. So yes. we're removing the LTD capital. So I put five, but we still have company. So now we can uh, like increase our parameters. From five so at the moment we've done like companies which are pretty good in quality, okay, like uh, they're growing and they expect it to grow in the same rate, so consistent. Now what we can do, we can uh, screen them down because to analyze 157 companies is pretty tough. Okay? Mm -hmm. Although there is another way how to look at them very quickly using technical analysis and identify those ones which are at support level, okay? What I would probably first thing to do here, if I wanted to reduce the amount, I will PE ratio put to 10. Because at the moment, a lot of companies with PE 10. Okay, so in this case, it's 67 companies. Oh no, what 47. So three times. So I reduce PE ratio to 10. Increase it, right? Reduce it, 5 to 10. Between 4 and 10. Not the case, yeah. Sometimes you run into 38 companies with the same parameters come up. Did you still, are you still using the LTD capital? No, I deleted it because it, it doesn't work for whatever reason. 
So do, I don't, we don't use it anymore? No, don't use it. Not, not, you can use it okay. next time maybe, because it's some kind of bug with the software. I mean with the value line. It, usually it works. You put it between 0 and 30. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, we can check the debt later. When we identify the companies, we can add the debt. Okay. So at the moment we have 47 companies. Mm -hmm. All right. So what do you do after that, guys? So instead of instead of going through each company, uh, it takes a lot of time, right? So we need to find companies which would good to buy now. So they have to be uh, suitable for us based on technical analysis as well. So we know that this fundamentally they kind of all right com companies. We don't know why they fall. We don't analyze the reason why at the moment, but we know that they're cheap based on P ratio. Okay, and they're good based on our projection and the growth cheap rate. cheap on P ratio because we use the price, yeah? Or price P ratio, yeah. yeah. So we put it, so we know if below 10, it's kind of cheap already company. Right? We, maybe it's always cheap, but uh, we'll compare it later. At the moment for us, if we identify out of 47 companies, those which we can buy. So the way you do it here, you click download data. Okay. Download, okay. So save. So what we can do, we can create a folder in our uh, Google Drive. Okay. You don't want to watch this one? Yeah. Okay, so we have screen. You want to yeah. stop? And then uh, the way you do it, okay guys, let's agree just how we save it. So today is 2019, 03rd, 17th, right? And we put value line, uh, premium. So we know that this screen came up from value line because there could be different ones. Ah, okay. okay, Walter. Yeah. You get it? You working with yeah. So, okay, so now we've got it open. So now everyone has access to it. So whoever, if we decide to do it like uh, two people, first week, two people, second week, two people, third week, you know, in this case, we know that every week there is a new list of companies. All right. So, okay. Uh, so that's what we get, the data from value line. So at least here it's kind of... How about they're blank on the other two? Uh, don't worry about it because it, it wasn't fit into the... So this table in reality we need only for one reason. Okay, so it just you take like that and uh, you copy all of them. Okay, and then you go to open it with a Chrome. I don't know, in my computer it's... Slowly, slowly, for me. Slowly, slowly, slowly. You open with Chrome or Apple? No, so what do we do? We copy the ticker, right? You, get the you copy all the tickers. Okay, so I copied all, all of them. Then uh, I went to Chrome. Because in my case, uh, this, whatever I'm planning to do, doesn't work with uh, <coughs> other stuff. Okay. It doesn't work on other browser? Other browser, yeah. Good. 